Hello. Hello. There. You didn't say good morning. Well, because I pointed it at you. Yeah. So you have to say it. Good morning. I'm sick. Aww. I don't feel very good at all. I'm sorry, honey. And the cat's breath is not helping the situation. <laughs> I can imagine. I love you so much, but I can't wait to take you to the vet tomorrow. And then we got to figure out what to do if there's nothing wrong with you. We might have to, like, switch your food. <laughs> we got to do something. Yeah. It's actually making me feel like I'm going to throw up again, and I've already done that enough today. Well, you might need to... Oh, move. she's she's moving. She can breathe in there another direction. Oh, she wants you to feel better. I know she does, but she's making me feel worse. Oh. Nope. It's okay. I love you, too. <laughs> The worst part is, I don't want to go near you. I know. Because I don't want you to get sick. <clears throat> I have a strong immune system. Yeah, but it's more important that you're fine and the baby's fine. Yeah. I'm not giving you what I think is the flu. <laughs> I don't think that you have the flu. But Just because I'm not doing things at the same time, I'm still doing them. <laughs> I'm just you lucky were that you not... were able to keep your lunch down. I was. Yeah. So. I don't know why, and I don't want to be gross, but I remember when I was a kid and I was downstairs at my aunt's house, and they didn't have a bathroom downstairs, and I knew that I was gonna throw up. Uh huh. And my cousin was yelling. Get up the stairs. Don't throw up running up the stairs. That's gross. Was that Steven? It was Steven or Chris. Oh. And I didn't puke, but I did the other thing. That comes oh, along with no. The oh, no. That's worse. I think it was Chris. And then he said, said something expletive and then said, well, I would have rather you puked than that. <laughs> and then I didn't even I could... make it to the bathroom. I just threw up all over the stairs, too. Oh, no. Yeah. That is awful. It was, do you know what it feels like to do that? No, I don't. Especially whilst running upstairs? No. Mm. Yeah, this morning when I got up and you weren't here, I thought I would just camp out in the bathroom. Oh. But I'm thankful, you know, I'm trying to look at the bright side. I don't really have a headache. I don't really have a fever. Mm -hmm. It's just a little, you know, so like I trying to think back of like different foods that I ate over the past couple of days that could have attributed to my not feeling good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is real life. You just might have a little stomach bug. Do you guys have any like... Home remedies for stomach bugs. Verners. Yeah, I had some Verners. Um, Flat Coke. My mom would tell me Mrs. Grass's chicken soup. I could have brought some home. Mrs. Grass's? Mm hmm. Sorry. Chicken told... soup sounds really good. You told me you didn't want any soup today. But with big noodles. <sighs> Oof, please don't breathe in my face. I love you. Are you mad at well, me? Well, now I feel bad. No, don't feel bad. I feel terrible. Oh. Yeah. Got a showdown at the OK Corral here. Battle Royale. M maybe Katniss is batting her away because her breath stinks. Maybe. Stop scratching. Don't tell her to stop scratching. Katniss, is that what's going on? Why are you guys mean to each other all the time? Yeah, why are you so mean? Why can't you love each other? Why you gotta be so rude? I think Katniss only has room in her heart for one other cat, and that's Prim. Oh, well, Prim doesn't have room in her heart for either cats. Katniss and Prim used to cuddle until we got Rue. They did. They did. So, you went to work today for a little bit. How was that? It was fine. Yeah? Yep. So, you pretty much got there and wanted to come home? Yeah, I wanted to come back and go to bed. Oh. I was tired. Yeah? Yeah. So, for Christmas, Carrie got me this, like, padding for the bed. Yes, I did. You want to talk about that? Because I, I thought that was a pretty awesome gift. I got a mattress pad. Is that what they're called? I think or, so. Uh, Is it by that company, Purple? It's by um, Lucid. And it's called Purple. 
it's a la it's lavender. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's it's a little bit purple, but it's also infused with lavender, so it's supposed to help you like rest easier. And it has. The past two nights have been pretty amazing. Good. It so, was very strong at first when we opened it up. It comes vacuum sealed, so we had to open it. We had to lay it out. We had to let it rise. Um, you're supposed to let it rise for 48 hours. I let it rise for 12, and I was like, it's going on the bed. <laughs> but we haven't had any issues, so. No, and it's the same stuff that Kayla and Nicole have in their guest bed. Yes. So I think Carrie got it because she was a little bit jealous because I always talk about how you I love, love that staying bed. there. Yeah. It's comfortable. You're with that bed. I think it's also the mattress too. The mattress is like more firm than ours is. It's well, I think it's newer and yeah, I think it's a little more firm than ours is. Yeah. I mean, we need to get a new mattress, but yeah, that's just I added to the too. list of things we need to do. Yeah. Someone said the other day that we shouldn't look at the mattress as something to be frowned upon. Uh -huh. Because we need to be able to be rested when we have the baby. That's true. So, I guess I should probably start thinking about it that way. That's a, yeah. It's just a really expensive purchase. I need purchase. to start thinking about it that way because I'm the one who's against getting a new mattress. That's true. So. That's true. Well, we so can talk about it maybe start there. looking some up. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of good comments. Like, I, I actually really like reading them. Yeah. Yeah. Did people say what mattress they use? No. Oh. No, but... If you have mattress recommendations. Yeah, we'd be looking for those, guys, yeah. if you have any. We really would be. I guess I'm conceding and giving in to the thoughts of getting a king-size bed. No. I'm not conceding. I am. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think given that we have three cats and a baby on the way... There would be more room for all parties if we had a bigger mattress. Uh, I don't know. We can think about it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I mean, for those of you who have multiple pets, I mean, especially dogs, because dogs are pretty territorial too. But we're not going to have a dog. We're not, but I mean, it's not just limited to those with cats. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, dogs sleep usually toward the end of the bed, but my friend Jamie... Her dogs used to sleep right up on pillows with her. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they would go under the blankets like Katniss has started doing. Mm -hmm. So we had some plans today. It doesn't look like a lot of them are going to get done, but Carrie did pick up the entire living room. Well, The stuff on the floor. floor. And then I vacuumed. Yeah, so all of that stuff is gone, which Man, really it changed. Man, feel better than a vacuumed floor. No, it does not. You were right. And it smells pretty good, too. That's good. I really like that shirt you're wearing. I like it, too. Always plugging. Oh, oh, I know. Um, we got... I forgot to mention about the shirts. Oh. That we're just waiting on the bags, and we'll be able to send those out. Yes, we're waiting on the, the bags to ship out the shirts, because we ran out of them, so... And I can't believe the shirts were done so early. I know, I was waiting. I thought they were going to be done after the first. I didn't think that they would have them until after the first either. Yeah. So, that was pretty crazy. That is crazy. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Me and too. we do have a few extra of the Love is Louder shirts. Yeah, we're going to put all the extra shirts that we have up on our store. <laughs> there might only be one size per, uh, one shirt per size though. Yeah. On a couple of them. So don't delay if you missed out on that because it will be a long time again before that shirt is like we. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not going to go live until we ship out the oh, yeah. other shirts just because we don't want to say that we have more than we do have and then we're supposed to be promising shirts to people and we don't have that inventory. Absolutely. So, as soon as we fill our orders and we see what we have extra, we're going to put it on our store and we'll let you guys know. <laughs> Is there some sort of, like, proven theory that if you leave that open, the cats get more comfortable going into know. the carrier? I have no idea. I don't think it works with our cats. No, because I have a feeling that once Prim walks out here and sees that thing, she's going to hightail it back into the bedroom. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> Even though we make it inviting, there's a cat bed in there. There is? Yeah. Rue's going to need to stay warm tomorrow. 
I'm still nervous about taking her. It's been one week since you looked at me. Three degrees outside with the wind chill. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Here comes Rue. Tomorrow in Burt's Run, there will be snowy weather with a high of 15 and a low of 10. A high of 15. And a low of 10. All right, well, she's sniffing it. Not including the wind chill. Maybe we can put a treat in there. Oh. That's how I got her in there last time. Was, I think, with some tuna. You put tuna in that thing? I might have. Oh, is it still in there? No. No? That got cleaned out. Remember when we stuck bumped that <laughs> over there? Oh, yeah, when we had that tornado. Yeah. That was really scary. Good thing they like each other. I know, but that tornado, that was no joke. What if all three of the cats had to go in there? I don't think that would be a good fit. I think we just need to maybe invest in another carrier. I think that we would have to carry Rue in our hands and put Katniss and Prim in there. We could put Rue in one of our jackets. I think she'd stay in there. She would. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like I need to apologize. Oh, there you go, yawning, for the vlog today. I have not been able to move off the couch. I know, I am, you took a very long nap today. I'm experiencing extreme intestinal distress. I'm sorry, love. Ugh, it's horrible. Nothing tastes right. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like I look kind of pale. I don't too. think you look pale. I feel pale. I don't think you look pale. I think you look beautiful. Thanks, sweetie. I gotta get all this sickness out of me because I can't be sick. You've got I'm school next week. I'm sick. You are useless when you're sick. I really am. I won't even I'm pretend right? that. It's a lie. You like when you're when you're sick you're like a man. Spit like a man. That's what you sounded like. Spit like a man. Well, we haven't really had too productive of a day. Carrie went to work. Yeah. I attempted to clean up the living room and then Carrie came home and did it. I did. And then we got through the entire season one of Big Bang Theory. I wouldn't say I cleaned up the living room. I just picked up the floor. Well, I mean, I got to put this stuff away and I got to make my two shirts again. Yeah. You know, but the other stuff just needs to be hung up. Right. I mean, I'm really happy that we got the closet done. Is she in there? No. Oh. She's laying right next to it, though. That's good. Giving herself a bath, so she's letting herself be vulnerable by it. That's nice. Good job, Rue. <laughs> Proud of you. Um, We should probably bring a blanket to put over top of it. In the car, because it's going to be so cold outside. Yeah. And maybe... I'm wondering if it's bad for cats because they, can, they can't focus on anything. You mean bad or good? Like, if no, if we put the blanket over them, uh -huh. they won't see like, the trees and right. everything going by so fast. So maybe it'll be good. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I Okay, so I, that was confusing. Yeah. I wonder if driving in the car without the blanket over the carrier is bad. Oh. You know? Yeah. If we could put something under our seats so that the cats wouldn't go under the seats, I would be fine letting the cat just run around and do what she wants in the car. No, that's too difficult. Well, they get under the seats and I'm afraid they're going to come under and then... Yeah, and they walk all over you and they walk on the dashboard and they just run around. It's, it's safer in the carrier. Man, cats really are a-holes. I love her, but man. And here comes oh, here Katniss. Comes Katniss. Yeah, she already sees it. She's like, oh, geez, what are you guys doing to me? Oh, well. I gotta really apologize for this vlog, you guys. We've done nothing today. It's quite boring. Yeah, I hope that you don't mind us just talking about life. Life and, and cats. cats. Yeah. Maybe we should just close the vlog. Probably. Alright, I'll be right, right over there. See? Told you I'd be right over. <laughs> I'm sorry. My stomach is just really in knots right now. Okay. It is yuck. I'm sorry.
Yeah. Uh oh. Wait a minute. What's is Katniss in there? She's yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. Katniss is actually trying to go in there, and Rue's stopping her. Can you see it from there? Yeah, I can zoom in. She's gonna go in there and sit down. Water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is really weird. Maybe she smells that tuna. No, I washed it out after the tuna. Well, I just mean like, cats have like... It's been over a year. Oh. We haven't taken her to the vet in a year. No, we haven't. She's gonna go in there and like chill. Alright. Mutter. So, that's a thing. Okay. Alright guys, thanks so much for putting up with this vlog. Yeah. This haven't felt good. We'll be out and about tomorrow though. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to the vet, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yes. Alright. Alright. Well, thanks for sharing us with your friends. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we will catch you on the flippity.